Botswana Communications Regulatory Authority, BOCRA, advise members of the public to register their SIM cards by 30th June 2024. Unregistered SIM cards will be disconnected from the network after this date. Ensure your SIM card is registered to help maintain a secure mobile network. Visit your mobile network provider to complete your SIM card registration today. It was better when my grandmother was still alive because Nela and Anna are like every time there would be food and we didn't realize the poverty we were in because na cover that part. The problem was that my grandmother would go and look for then my mom is not there. Did you have an understanding of God? I was asking my sister last year, do you remember, Hori? There was a time when we used to be left alone, and at night there would be this figure. Even to Dixon Skip, what was that? This figure and the rest of up to now, what was that? Because it happened a few times. But how was it God trying to protect us? Because there was no security. Like my mom could go for days. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Hana Live Conversations. Now, in this moving episode on the power of endurance and faith, Rafila Sibanda shares her tragic experience growing up in dire poverty and left to fend for themselves by her laboring mother. And through a compassionate neighbor, she and her siblings end up being sent to an SOS village where they go on to experience the wrath of an abusive house mother. However, inspired by her passion, she found the courage to pursue her goal of leaving the country and goes on to accomplish her dream of becoming a musician. Let's indulge in her story. Rafila, thank you very much for taking time to have this conversation with me. You know, your story is, is so layered and I'm looking forward to unpacking the layers. A lot of misconceptions around your, you know, upbringing and I'm looking forward to unpacking that. But, you know, your story is really a story of uh, somebody who's overcome adversity, overcome poverty. You found yourself living in what we perceive an orphanage uh, that is called SOS. So I really look forward to finding out how, you know, that happened as well as how now, what it took for you to flourish the way you are. Uh, so thank you very much for for doing this. Thank you for giving me the time. And it's great to meet you because I just see you on Facebook and at least now I've met you. We've met. <laughs> and, you know, welcome home. Because yeah. you live in the, in the UK, but mm-hmm. of course you'll get to share that as we go. But, you know, welcome home. Thank you. Emma, so Aris Mulehela was taking it way back because, you know, for us to get to where we are right now, I think it's really important that we unpack where it all began, right? Where it all began. So let's start with where were you born? You know, do, did you have any siblings? Yeah. Who were you born to? What was your family like? So let's just start there. Right. I was born in Muchudi, but I was raised in... Mm-hmm. Then later, brought, yeah, still, yeah. then brought to SOS, mm-hmm. I think at the age of 10, between 9 and 10, somewhere there. So I was born in a family. We were, that time when we went to SOS in early six. Mm-hmm. So I've got an elder brother and then my sister, which is my twin and myself. You have a twin? Yeah, wow. identical twin. Mm-hmm. And then my brother and then the other brother who comes, Balonri. The other one I live with him, Gomuchud, mm-hmm. and the other one, Leno, goes to UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in early six, then we went to SOS. Then my mom had an, another three more mm-hmm. when we were go SOS children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was your you, what was growing up like? Take me to as far back as you can remember, Ugla, because of mm-hmm. course you went to SOS only ten, but I'm sure there's certain things that you remember, certain yeah. moments you remember growing up. So I really want us to go there, you know mm. what I mean? To as far back as you can remember, what was life like? Um, going back is, I think it was the age of five, because mm-hmm. I know at that time I was I hadn't started school. 
So we used to live with my grandma and that was me and my sister. So it was just me and my twin sister. My brother had left school as an early, I think level seven or eight, Naira Stana two. And this was also part of that, like that poor background where now the eldest child has to also go out and help. So my mom would just get him hired into the the fields is about to, to work there. And then Nali, my sister, we were always home and having to look after my younger brothers. Mm-hmm. So um, there were times when my mom would just leave. Go re- At first, my grandmother was still alive. So Len and Abereka in people's fields. So most of the time, or my mom would go somewhere to hustle as well. Mm-hmm. So I just know Gore, there were times when me and my sister would be left alone with those two Little yeah, mm. and you have to fend for them. did you having to go look for food and a lot of place like houses? Mm-hmm. Well, that time, but to never since look, it was a very poor place. Like, mm. I remember that time because one of the pipe, what was there was clinic, hotla, and the school. And it's still there. Mm. So I know we had to also grow up and sometimes the house is not even and stuff like that. Mm. So I said to my sister, I remember you realize that more it was God because that time the banyala and stuff mm. like that, or they just disappear and stuff like that. So sometimes looking at my life and looking at that side of life, like that background, I just feel hurry. It was just God being mm. there for us. And for that time, I didn't even know God. But there were days we would be left with nothing. Even school, there would be times when me and my sister would go to school such a highly sip from yesterday. So... School level one, Kore, Kore Janti. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, that's 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 deep. Because they get it to what I get it. To give us context, you know, I think you know people take for granted how much I grew up in poverty. Everyone imagines what it looks like. Yeah. Kalo ganyo ako yung koran. Oh, kora kore, kora kore neba ang jakusin na si Shab. Oh, mwenya kora kore. Yeah, they do. Did you know this? So I think that is really what I was trying to establish, Kore. You know, how bad was the situation? It was, yeah, it was you bad. Know. I remember. Anyways, yeah, yeah, you're just about to. We will go to go to have when re, like sometimes when I look at people, Baba Sansa Bannak, some of them sometimes I can't remember them, but I know when I see their faces, I'll be like, oh, when I must mama. It's because that memory I had to keep it because I wanted to go back to thank them to say, you know, there were times when you would feed us when yeah. we had nothing. Mm. And there'll be no one there. So, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you... <sighs> yeah. It's, it's, it's heavy. And there were days when me and my sister would go to school. Mm. I remember my teacher, Anna Rutokudi Konya. There was a day that we went to school, Sajal Halenix, and... Mm. I still remember this because one of the teachers said to take us to Budi Pizeng mm. to get us because mm. it was that bad. That was before Buela Kosos. Before Isa Kosos. It was better when my grandmother was still alive because Nele and Ana. Like, so every time there would be food and we didn't realize the poverty we were in because na cover that part mm. we could eat hardly thing but the problem was that my grandmother would go and look for a mm. thing then my mom is not there then we have these two little ones in the meantime so as bad until ka ninety, I think my grandmother passed ka nineteen eighty nine, mm. and that's when I Kisimola school. That's how I remember Hori. It was that time. I think the gap was standard two, so it was nineteen ninety. Mm. Then that's when now we faced the hardest 
the real the reality of mm. what it exactly it was, which we couldn't see. And sometimes I thank God for all this happened when I was young. Because you can imagine how slowly Motuna, like I can read the story and it's about to work, how about selling that thing? And I can imagine for if if it never came to someone who do something about these kids, I could have faced it and yeah. it would have maybe affected me or damaged me in a way. Not my sister, because it was that bad. Or we could have maybe been raped. I don't know. That's, it. That's, That's how it. I am so thankful to God. Someone had to think about it. It wasn't even my mom, I think. Some lady had to go and speak to Bumabi Bella. Mm. you have to do something about them. About them. Yeah. Because my mom, I grew my grandmother had passed and then my mom wasn't there all the time. Mm. So there was my little sister, Lenoko UK. Lena Sansali, I think she was not even two or something. So I know her. There's no way Nastalbo to, I think Nalbo a year or something. So Rosans or Salalan all the time. So Rosans Romoko Pele Dijo or Rosan Mae just Kori Umala Powell never reads, but Kauri, most of them live on Neva Sela that Jalo. It wasn't as bad because Luana, you don't feel it's something that differs you from the others. Mm. You just feel its way of life. Yeah. But later you realize, oh, no, yours was quite bad. Because ba- ba- at least even if they didn't have, but they had their parents or they had didn't do, or the house. Mm. Hey, mm. More like they had us and maybe yeah. Yeah. and stuff like that. So even these winters, sometimes I wonder how did I survive that? Because mm. it was so cold. And how mm. So keep um How I agree like we had neighbors. So when if they are cooking they'll dish for us. Mm. Even if it's not a lot, because we but how can we live when they get tired of it? Or when now you feel horrible. Or when all of a sudden you know, oh, so or when how about we are going out to hold the boat? So when that you can always be going there. So it's like when hello, go like being how can we read school? Okay, tomorrow get school long anyway. Get lunch at school long. But the moment now, but but last time, but now we buy a guy. So that's when we would go to school. How we research? Like let's say I remember this teacher. I wrote to her. Come back. I research. Get always not lasting. I think maybe it was from a weekend because the whole weekend there's nothing at all. Mm. So that's what I know. But we had to, they had to just give us something. And I don't know what it is. But 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 I don't know So, you know, of course, you've already singled out that day. Yeah. It's just one of those vivid memories in Hori have stuck mm. just how bad the situation was. You know, are there any memories in Hori Ukari have really stuck, you know, apart from that one? Could a day that you think back to and it's just so painful to re- to actually even try to remember because just how bad the situation was. You know what I mean? Of course, so mentioned Nina. I'm just wondering if there are any other that, you know, you struggle with. Mm. Was that us? I I know, Hori. Mm. My grandmother, Grano Lenin, is at Sofala, I think. And we didn't have anything. And he, she stayed days. How we. Atola or acquiring and runar living and we had to go empty the bucket and how we still along. And I know like it was later when I was told then you start to think what was wrong or okay. I got these are like Sansu Libu six, seven years. Okay, what could have been wrong? Oh, I think 
Bulwetsibo and Tliniki, I don't know, Hori, they couldn't give her anything or what's mm. going on. Let my mom have I think na luckily she was already, I think na better come roads that time. So about Hori, I'm Hori's agree, she had to wait until I'm Hori's Hori, I'm Hori, I'm Hori, like Modi Bora, which I think that's where gonna talk a lot. So I know that day, my brother, I think my mom na ilo kubat lat koloi or something. My little brother, oh, you know, go UK, na leka hui rati or na zurikitla la or something. Kesa a kotetsa mollo na kuna le tini ni retlatra meti kayon. So ila meti as na anza bila abal leka hui kotetsa and this was winter. So bands muy song ba like ba surrounding you know you'll be so close oh, to it because you want yeah about really and you're trying to get as much warmth as you can. So illa ha kotza lo hunge be tinile tena ya nang emu tala mizimo you know there was a time I, I used to pray or I hope that didn't damage him. Kore. Yeah. That was a memory that used to really affect me. Keep it over. Is it going to be normal? Like considering when I meet you, I'm you know, because yeah. that was the thing. And a lot of these things could have happened, but let my brother Nasta is or she had he had to do something maybe for because Nas Nermot was not local school long. I said the long one, so. My mother, I think, na ilo ko sinka kulo ikos n agraw lo ngan yana how it's lo kuro what's going on like ubana matuba tabukile osa izuru what's going on so we were at school ribona aheta kare like ko ko la benga kakala le school ribona aheta atabukile harmo lebella di blister sa sene di tlese mulo meti ish. You've been through a lot. You've been yeah. through a lot. Uh, so, it's going to be normal. Like, mm. But yeah, no, it's all right. By the grace of God. Mm. Oof, so how then do you end up, Kosos? I think you touched on it a little bit. Maybe even before we get to that, you touched on Kanya, God, you know, right now, you know God and you just know how God restores because your story is incredible. It's a story of, you know, the greatness of God and how he's able to restore, right? But back then, did you have an understanding of God? Was it anywhere around? Within the neighborhood, any kind of practice hearing, okay, yeah, this could be, you know, spirituality, religion, anything of that sort. There was nothing. Mm. I think the only first time I would we would sing Dipina Sidi Bianca Mudim, it was Kukwa Assembly. Mm. And I used to like those songs, but none because it's Udira something. Yeah. And the first time, I think Nirbala stand at four, Mio Munguna Ratako Ribala Bible, like the the children of Israel, like the book of Exodus. Nabila mm. because it's a story Bible. Nirbala it's a story, like any story book. Mm. So, that is a story saying it's sometimes I look at it and I think Banaba Israel was saying it's like Lebanon Nebats were out of out of slavery mm. into uh, uh, a, a land of milk and honey. Mm. So into freedom. So I remember the first time kids and this time necessary to a school look local college in Kara tell the same story about us compare our lives because learning as well. SOS, yeah, Swaziland. I compare, like, Banaba Israel, they had to be taken out of the Bukhoba and to, and saying, okay, the comparison with us is that we were having to, to be taken out of poverty to SOS. Mm. So this is the same story where you can see God in your life. God did the same thing for you because you don't have to have been in slavery for you to, meet God the same way the Israelites did. That's so it. that's how I started to understand, like for me now to use God in my life, mm. to even start to appreciate. That was the age of 18, Giluko, Giluko College. Mm. But Honale, this other thing that I used to, even today, like I was asking my sister last last year, do you remember, Hori, 
there was a time when we used to be left alone and at night there would be this figure even today can keep it or what was that like rena ro khona bona this figure and ne re tsoga re se tsori king and re tle be re siela ko ntlong it will be standing by the gore a ke re jara ta rena ne se na la le tara ta go se na le ga but go long gore ke one entrance re dirisan to get into the yard so tle be e ga re motho we me ho and i am hela la re ka botsa re who are you kana re o mang in in nothing and then ha re sana mo ntlong we didn't even have a door Mm-hmm. but you can see like how we did to be local no one or to me and that figure was then there until ritual mail ritual how we recruit to go to him but you wow. up to now what was that because mm-hmm. it happened a few times mm-hmm. but that person will just stand there until they are not ritual. causing you any Nothing. harm because kana you could somebody could say nya go ngone le monna ba tla go le wa bona that's what we used to think wow. maybe this guy is here to do something but le re tsogile re ikhrumetse ka dikopo re ipotsa until re thula mela ba bona and that happened a few times and ka botsa ma sister or kanta what was that but mm. the first time when i thought of it ke setse ke go so sene ke nna ke tsoga ke ipotsa what could have been that mm. like who is that wow but how ngi ipotsa was it god yeah Yeah. trying to protect us because there was no security like i'm saying like my mom could go for days to say it's going thing and then by the time adla you know life just goes on and that time gonna in those years how long when you you can't ask your mom you can anything those you are can't. very sensitive things and yeah. oh it's disrespect of course so now i think nalo my sister for us to have overcome it was the way we were like nere Gore ne re batla go bona life we we were always mm, excited or yeah. even if this was happening you wouldn't even tell mm. like local us when we were taken courses we ne re na le mme mongwana a re tshwenya now we didn't even know and happen the one thing seen at advantage of was that ne re sa batle go boela go go re tswang thing because ne re tsori going back there we are going to nothing So even now you are in this place you are being given everything that you never had. Mm. You are being looked after. You are living in a place like Nerisa Wayaka, I don't know. But meona na re tshwenya like physically abusing us. A khono re bolela dibuo that she will even say everything that about my mom things that you can you could even imagine mm. being told to a child. Mm. So ne re sa khono re pota because na khono re threat na gore ke tla le tla le tla busi dio go gala na go le tswang thing and na re ta mafukwa and knowing as a child gore ke boela ga e go nngwe re i'll go for days exercise and here i'm being given everything mm. why would i and you can't and risk you can't even yeah. risk reporting that yeah. because wa go bolela gore le code office ngona even if you go i wouldn't no one would do anything about it and ha bagolwane ba temba tsile like a re ne ba tsama di rounding mo di mo di housing yana ba eta ba tsheka yana go tlebe a bua le bone in a way that you would think gore hey ke tsa la bone and there's no way gore nka ba reportela or anything cause ba tlebe ya no ba na against me ba tsa side ya ga ba maka gore ke ba ba bona ke tsa la so a khona gore be tsa remember one day i be dit my brother ana a bumile ka le gare a me dit ka raba ya sthlako e ipadila no motlhogong and how long we were feeling or okay maybe ba go bona and they will say something it le bere ha ngwe re fita ra schoolong yana ba e ma ha gate nga ke re tshekiwa yana ba re tshe ka ora ra pere se ntse di ka usu eng eng so le no tla ba e me ho le ba go lwana ba thing then ha go ngwe ba botsa ba re gore leng ba tla ba a sara ba gore no go ira ge tsana nang a bua something ela se leng gore completely so i know gore these are things in a dira gore ha go ngwe re gore sa batle go o ya thata ko the life that we are actually living mm. whether we are we are being abused or what we could hide it kana ba tso le moga 4 years later sa bolo gona go se re 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 tso ngwa ke motho i i think i want us to track a little bit we'll get to this again okay. right but i want us to go back to how you ended up go so cuz at some point we le ganya gore so i want us to go back there i thought 
in my head i'm waiting for riri suddenly anu maritsila sentle go atobetsa ga bat hai le gore you went on to experience abuse again anu go sos that's really painful so i i think just take it okay, back to how you ended up go sos yeah um na well as a child na ke bone hela bo ma bi pele go batsena cuz there were times ne re khono pakisiwa dijo and then yeah ne bana ba re pakisa dijo so i think it's only tsa go ngone re tshela ka tsona but you know my mom would be also appreciating the neighbor ba ha gore ba ne ba tswele ba ye you know so a o motla ba share le bona but yeah so bo ma bi pele go we there involved in our case and learn still she would still go our hustle and then come back as and when so i just know ke mo ke go tle se re go dile gore kana this me wa ha le o ma go se mama ke nna go le buella go go tleng gore le iswe go so so i don't know gore na buile le my mom or what cause my mom that time na o na atla abatla like i remember that night on thar kana la la go atlokweng So now I thought it would be something where we are just going yeah, and come back. Labu. Yeah, mm. so her and Cyril go school on Kolo ya cancel ya tsena and they they are coming to pick us now my sister and then we drove home ba go ba go tsabo my brothers and sisters. Mm. Ebe rzama kana we had nothing so ne go sna pulo pheka ba pheka ma di thutu tsa lo bona. Yeah, so that's how ebe Kolo e tsamang like ele re tsimo la rzama and then Rasana koso le koso sa ke tsile gore what is this you know what I mean now we just thought we are just here and then for the time and we are going so yeah that's how we got there so what is your first impression how how zena what happens oh, you know God. what i mean ha le goro ga le go loga koloi and then what the, what is that first day like what yeah. mm. koso se it was a place of luxury like mm. i just remember what the day re go rokile ne go tletse makhuwa and ba mo ba visitile and So at that time it was really something selong gore lwena as a child you want to be there. Mm. So hare say wa I don't even know the process they did and then Barisa Barisa Montru. That's how we just got off the car and then Barisa to the house that we were allocated to go to mm. and then from there that's where we lived but gona le clinic ke ba re check re nna le nurse wa rona hela ba re check gore gona le if there's no malwetsi or anything no problem ever is a kuning tlung and then we get introduced to our auntie mother or nokona bo me ba ba tshu yo monke auntie monke mother our mother so ke no the mother on the organ and nana are tshwenya since the day hela re go ro ga isa re rat like ona go no be gore he bana ba ka tla ba le bantsintsi ba tswa ke 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 so lo na o fila gore it's your fault ka re la la mela eh ya no a complain na more na sif you're not like out of blame so yeah. when as a child you try to do the best you can but every time it's being criticized mm. so ne go sna sepesa ha sa appreciate tanka rona but it was like o re blame gore why le sotlega he batho ba ko kae bo di khone la re tlatsa eh so ba ba mo khona bona re batsa sentle ha o mo re khona cancel mo di tripping go teno bana ba ga bana maitse go sna le maitse tala ka mseng ne re bua like we were so confident we if we meet you i remember bona le makgwatle tse go gating kwa na ha re ba ha re kopa le bona re roba se khwa re ha ba tsa re ba ise kae ha ngore sa tla go tre ba ise and Sometimes people like that yeah, and we also like the attention really twin sir atswana and makhwa they are busy taking pictures they are wow 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 so when now you're just a child and you're just following and then the next thing can go tena batho so even this lady tla ba re hey bana ba ntseng yana lana hey ga bana maitseo ba re ba re ha mo re cancel mo di dripping re sa tsamae but Nay didn't bother us cuz mm. I always had my sister with me mm. and everything we did we did it together so la ha go ka irwa se mbote ka iso le tiwa o what i didn't feel it because mm. i always had anything se se mo diragala le nna sa ntiragala so we we'll be together oh. and we don't even see who this is abuse would you say having a sister you know helped actually it helped yeah. quite a lot that's what i'm getting from what you're yeah. saying mm. mm. cuz no filo ka re le shera the burden we could go re ha we could even look at each other we know go re okay this is it what one mm. like ne re na le that way ne re tse go re he he harase ngwa but it's a way of discipline or something cuz we are not lofile la gore okay wa re beza because we are naughty or something kante kana na re beza mo gore ke khono go ya skolong ke ke padile di thupa yana ke go pula re bina traditional dance 
but what level is I working? And I have to come up with another excuse. Oh, I don't know. Can I lay some rush or something? Mm. Mm. So, how many more more sources? Lady sibling, I got her only six. Ali na le the sense ya kuri refeme li bomunaru na kanti. Are you now relieved of that? Because can I remember? Was he say or the two of you? Let's say Lily Luna Baba Tona Lily Kakomera Baba Nyanya. Are you relieved of that? Khalil Mososi Anu because when I le back to buy no kore this diba Lily Kakomera, you are able to be kids. Can I listen to Lena that sense? I kore can I get on a little bomunaru na listen to sense Kakomera bomunaru. Yeah, when we got Mososi, yeah. Hello, Kona. Look how rough you still feel your little sister. Yeah, like no sense. Yeah. I'm also telling it to you because now it's working on her. But my way, and so yeah. I remember when I'm saying, "Do not to turn us." How God like we little when I need a little little sense, little little to work on a little little little. She will make sure we. I wanna see peace. So my sister, if she's crying and crawling and what what, she would just tell tell you leave her, just mm-hmm. go. So we are whole away. It's okay, fine. Ntlane go kana how mai tuti tse ika kete utle botso kwa wizu robi ito and you can't even intervene because you know kure hey she has to go through that mm. and these are things that were hard to see because no wizu robi na kana hala wa muguga ha bezwa udwa la you we were so attached to them that let's go wrong ni kano zelo fele gizu I have to. My sister, my little sister, Anna, Anna. Mm-hmm. Where am I going to feed her? Because when we get some money, we reward her. We go, my Simon, Abba, to just to find something to eat. Yeah, now when we, the most of us, you know, you are still attached to each other. How much Anna, I risk it, I'm going to risk it, I'm going to risk it. So as it's out, I'm going to, I don't know, but Abba, be it somewhere no more. So when you can't even take it, like. You don't know what to do because when you are going through the same thing, how do I do? How do I do? So can I do? Why be so? Where is Mama? I know. Or how did it go? So say, what is the arrangement? I will not go there. That will not go there. No, I will not go there. No, I will not go there. No, but I think Caroline and I are sincere. Can I? I know how best to reach her. How do I? Did you see the package? You are hard to settle. You are hard to feel. So when I am going to announce you. How we can call we can sell it. But I can never buy buy few transport to keep on the social workers. Baba, we are about to take them to be born. So they like no one will be able to show the bag. We buy this year. We're all over the place. So the social workers are go. Both the people are never going to be able to buy. They will never be Maybe once or in three months or something like that. Can I have we had to call you to reach our issue? We go 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 for the holiday. Mm. So my mom most of the time in Asi. Mm. So I think the long like the all the years that we stayed because was I would say maybe till like three or four. Maybe nearly quite more than ten years or ten years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now Ghana, you are being abused. You know, like you're saying, you don't even know how to. You are not even empowered to define this as abuse. Luna mo kolo na leba na lintito ko. You are so grateful for this, and you don't want to do anything to compromise it or to exactly. jeopardize it, right? How long does 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 this continue? Are uh, the whole time nili ko ano kora kore limo this person utoli to the tayana? Do you ever get to a point where you're able to report them or anybody? Ako na ko lam kora ko na lamatat. I think no ko na lebo me pa bang kosi di house sa sa ro na di chora kain ne ba iti ene lebo ne ba iru sa the same. Treatment to others, Moody mm. House and so on. So it was like, let's say, we were making it zala. So everything the other one is doing, the other one is it's doing, doing well. quality yeah. thing. Yeah. So no, we is over baba ngoba is over lasting. And how when baba say respectable ba hul? What would you do as a child? Mm-hmm. So yeah, the way like kuri 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 zi. It was this other lady who ene me wa te nele nes kena na atla like it was her duty because neba swa padi weekend. But some are moody housing. So we go to Bayira this week. We go back Bayira next week. So this one on her weekend at the Oreds, she was going. And then about that, na lero na this time the one on the remit and mom and no na retsonya na lady ofo. So reset the low ling and le na na it's horror. So we le na how we want to talk about because I don't know when I feel like we le na just reset the low ling. So me on a hard lily. Get hard on it. And it was winter. Rinzi, there was a carpet just like this. 
rona re ntse go ditilweng se dikwatse le cause na sa re letle le gata mmet na gore if you are watching tv tshwantso re be re leveletse re ntse go di dining go dining table leng hela mo mo cement like mo tiling e leng gore it has no carpet on and re ntse hela we tsore how so great you don't even feel it's a problem yeah so ya re botsa re while ntse go mo sera mense sentse nyana ka re smara mo lo are letle lo gata mmet na bile re ipuela hela re tlotla le i think Lena na le mogaura kre lena ke nne se and ke nne so abana and they've studied psychology abana so they understand gore how ba tlong ngwana bue o tshwantse ruwe ke ka re wa tlhalela so i think that's how she got us because how mm. one re ha ngre bodiwa ba tswa re botse be re no ha re tsenye re sha apo ri patla hela gone yeah you know o tshaba ko ruwe tso re yanga bua what if you know so i think she knew Mm. And then she had to find a way to let us talk. Mm. So ha rentse go re simo ha re motlotlela di o ka bontsitse ne re ntse di ragala kana gongwe I was I remember na kongwe a ntso sa ke tsosi wa bose o kene the same lady because mm. my brother ne kona di police na di tsa midnight so o ne kona le bana ba tsa ndi police bose go so na ne ke robet like we were all sleeping so my brother was being taken to to clinic or nothing because never wants to be able to go clinic in one more village in ba who fear the police so never ha cause my brother ne i used to think hore o mentally disturbed because of that abuse cause na kono na confused dam said that thing am go like she will he will panic like o kono bana ngwana le confused me o tlo go rwa pedi wa ba ba am o tshaba so ira ha motso sa go rai go tsa dipilis like ha le na kwa go ratso o tla bana confused di a se tsuru ira a metsa i remember one day i made it well on her i think there was there was a bruise or a blister no skin tear mo le tlong so go ra gore bo me bana ha moisa go ta there's no way a ka bona go moisa cuz she he has to go get those dpds handle a way if there was a way nka ba sa moisa nka ba batle excuse a go ra ska moisa gore ba ska bona so go ra gore wa moisa ha ba tsoko ba tla ba motsa gore go rileng wa yengwa nang sana i think na le ka go go i don't know what she said e ba tla lena ba tla go ntlomba fa ba re ngwana o rileng ya no ba re tsosa botlhe ba re ba re bue gore ngwana o ka tsa rileng go se na ba sa tshepisana excuse na e buile so na no ke a tsosiwa and i don't even know gore go iragetseng cause ne re tsa re tlwetse ha a mbetsa yana you get used to it every day ha ka betswa o motlwalla ha o mwa o ha o ha ba na o se tsalbo that stage get out that time na lebo i think na lebo 10 of na go ngwe le 12 kana na le no he's younger so ka tswa na lebo na se ntsa tsana ne sari so maybe before as mola school so i can say 6 5 6 years so ha ke se se wa ke le ka go le nna ke bodiwa i don't know like I don't even know what I told them yeah. but I also had to say something then or just for them to go like mm. just to lie and say ke do mana lena a robela le good group I would just have to say okay yeah good group mm. and mm. I knew or it's not maybe o ka tswa a khetle to baba metse gore e tle go split that cause na go do something here ish so of course this seems like go botoka gona le gane le le go di gonnye Yeah. Militela mo bo khobeng bo bokana kana ke. How are you go school? How are you guys performing at school? Are you enjoying school? Ala pasa. What is that like at that season? You know when o se sweet go ru o tlobogile, you know, like whatever you do. La ha o sa tsenye effort in, but I think I would have done better. But ne ra pasa stane se then ka bo si, but I could have done better I know that yeah cuz they know how we re o ru ha bala kana there's no time to to even read kana lo ena go rutlele go ru ha bala ke re re tsoko magaeng kono go re kwa go na bo go moeke ha di tsena di buka we go di lenteng so ya no cuz us they had that but for you to get used to that for run ha so bale you don't even know where you are reading motho wa go wa wa go bitsa o wa go bitsa you know there's still that going on so I don't know. Gore there were times I long gore 
o tla bona ba bangwe ba bangwe ba tsela sentle ba bangwe ba bala o ngotsa male bona but you still can concentrate because you know go kwa kana it went on for like four years yeah rinse re tsela yalo so it becomes part of your life you know go there's that mo no re go re la o ka la o ka le kang le ne di botsa ga go le tsone wa go bolelela gore ga le go hela le sepe so ne se se re tlwetsela gore re na re ba eleng gore tswa go tshotle go nge e heta ba ba ne re tsoro tshotla wa rona heta ya batho because of how she would define it to you guys yeah. yeah yeah so how long does your stay in you know uh SOS last lentse go SOS le ba kgele kana kang of course ya no kana you know le ba dile 7 gore gore la go secondary also a haletswa mo SOS le tswa ya na ka di shift gore kana at some point u bile ka ganya college lile ya nung you go to college ba ba ngwa bana ba ba setse go ke le bona ba khona gore ba graduate nung so i think i i want to understand that yeah um so harley goes was i get it this was had abuse stopped in Yanor Bala 7 so mm-hmm. i think that's when now and why ha, how is it stopping or why is it stopping that lady only give you a kind of heart la refitle la re nse mo mo se raming a re botsa re gore leng then the next day she took the case further mm-hmm. aba ba re kwala mo body ya grene re tsena ka ke itiana re tlhela go kwalolo re bana ba number 8 you need to wait mm-hmm. how is it so we waited there ibi le re sa itsori has to do with what happened Kanyelo last night eh. yeah cuz rini le hore molela story se molela se hore do you remember this day ha go ntsana le tla le mpotsa bo se hore mwana o rileng i didn't know but i know hore this is what had happened mm. so hore re molela everything le ne le gona le mogang hore all these they add up to this mm. baba so abare re bi dua ko fiseng ya no rena ho ba re botsa dipotso like it went on for hours re se molela re retelling the whole story again you know, to the whole board mm-hmm. of directors mm-hmm. so that's how they got rid of the lady and i think le bo me bona ba di tsala tsa gago le bone ke ha ba tsama yeah ke ha no go simolla ya no re simolla sentle ya no e be go simolla like e be ba change i think you know mr kitso le ne ke ha simolla atla atla go sos that was the first time in my life ke gona go bolela motho my dream Oh. And aba I go encourage you know what I mean. Because but any of us are about it they could need it. There was nothing like that. Or la ba bolela they would say they would just say things and run on the pizza or okay. Why not? Maybe this is where i'm this time to be like mm. my life gonna end up like this mm. there's no point so i miss the exact agosus we could even sit down with him okay i want to go to uk lena bat at that stage what is your dream you know as you start dreaming what are you dreaming about mm. what are you seeing like listen dile and no go khona go bona go pure what is that like i'm i'm I yeah, like to get that's into, how yeah. that's how it happened like mm. just after Mr. Kiswatsa and Okosots mm. that's when the Rokona ya no go bua or Ramalala se se batlang and he will encourage us and mm. that's all i needed like mm. i never even knew that was what i was lacking like o se na moto ka go a go bontsa gore this is life like mm. never like accept it so tle go reze lor it's part of us mm. and there's no way we are going like le bo me ba ne rena le bone bone ba ke bjale ka bone dipotsa bone you would just think gore after source there's nothing for you out there so has to pass na go tsama then you become yourself you are confident even to face whatever it is because you know you have faced the hard times in your life so whatever is before you is nothing wow so that's when go kono ra me think to get i want to be a tv star i want to be this that's that man that's when i experience gore and the love of a father how it is because yeah. i had never even cuz my father was never there mm. i didn't know him but mr giso was someone that we could dream and tell him what we want to be and how we are tsega and how we are encourage or okay but kesa re mo go tsega ngang e but like but it's just and we enjoyed being around him yeah na is gore ne re hela ke tso ga nna my sister ra go fisinya mr giso ra go tlhala rena le the whole time la ka bile do a meeting guy we will be in the car has an uncle she will leave us in the car we will go meeting and we will be talking to him the whole way this is what i want to be and 
he even today he still talks about that. We used to talk as if we are joking. And I'm going to go in the U- to the UK. I'm going to go UK. I don't even know how to do that. Mm. But my sister now, this is how I'm going to do things. And these are things that now, when I met God, I realized this is faith. Mm. When you speak things into existence, Absolutely. they start to happen. They start to exist. Yeah. Because you can exist in the UK, but you know, there was that, UK. like, look the wrong. August Golon, I don't know where that came from. And I had to live as though I'm there. Mm. And that's faith. Wow. So that's how that was the turning the point. The whole thing changed. Yeah. Mm. And that time, let me do my next meet, but it's okay. But let me do my own ghost Golon because, because when you now reach the a certain age, can officer school, they have to now know how to your path is leading to now be an adult and they have to take you towards that path mm-hmm. where it's either you're going to a uh, tertiary or you're going to at the, the institute it's a god as an adult yeah. so we were sent to namibia mm-hmm. for hotel management and catering mm-hmm. so that's when we studied that and this is both you and your sister me and my sister you and, and others uh, yeah mm. so from there simulano and then when we came we to go but how when I do, that's when they let you go mm-hmm. now you are fine you are yeah, so independent yeah you're not independent but mm. oh yeah they find good they make sure you are set for life wow. so when I you have to go to mm-hmm. so there was a time that I I left because now so I saw my life because Nikki Berka is a waitress. Mm. And I left my job. Kids are worried maybe there's something better. Kids are like, I'm tired of being a waitress. So when I left my job, I couldn't find any because Nikki fits off on five. Mm. One thing that bothered me was that everywhere I went, I couldn't get anything. But it was only when I mentioned Kurgizoko sauce. And that bothered me. Mm. Now I've left so why should that now be the privilege that still follows me? Because yeah, yeah. it must be now concentrated on another child. And no, I have to now design my own path. And if we decide I have to go to UK. Now that dream that I used to dream, it mm. has to come to life. Because mm. Nekibona, I've been to every office, I think Lady Bank and yeah, but waitress, I can't be doing that for kids. There must be something. Yeah. So, I get and I couldn't find anything. Now I'm stuck. So, I don't have a job. I don't know what to do. So, Gary, well, I go crest. And go crest, I wouldn't have called Hela ordinarily. Hela, I know that. Because some people would have left their jobs and tried to go back. They wouldn't. But, so they had to just make a call. And, and you get back. the job. Yeah. So that bothered me. Keep it over. Okay, when am I going to now stand on my feet? Independent. Keep yeah. Grela. Yeah. Hosanna sauce behind me. Hosanna the SOA, the sauce tag. Yeah. Hosanna the SOA, the sauce tag. Yeah. Hosanna 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 was not the point. Nikki, but are you doing it because Kim Are you feeling pity sorry, for me? Because yeah, next yeah. day, I didn't like where people feel sorry for me because mm. I really wanted to change my life. Mm. And I know for as long as someone is like, oh, Kim you start to relax, you feel like, but you know, okay, oh, you are an orphan, you know, but yeah. I feel so you relax. You don't really put as much strength to try and push and get what you. Are worth, and that's you know? why you wanted to go. Yeah, to the and UK. that's what I just thought. I need to get out of this country, mm. so UK or anywhere. So I went to Germany. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to get out. Like I, I saved money, and then au pair was one thing that was easier to get. Yeah, go Europe. At first, I tried states, and that time my sister and then I looked states. 
So I tried states, but I couldn't get like ne babatla license and I knew it will delay and maybe yeah. something happens if we can change the plan, you know. So I just thought, let me go to Germany as long as I'm there. I know Hori. From there, maybe I'll find my way to the UK. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up picking the UK. Wow. And how has that been? I understand right now you are married with two teenagers and you're flourishing. You have a business and, you know, of course you're a musician. We're going to get to that as well. But uh, how then, you know, you stay in UK? You know, I think I remember you you mentioning something. I think this is before, of course, we started the interview that you'd been in the UK now for 20 years. So I yeah. want you to tell me about this experience. How has it been? You know, you now meeting your partner, having a full life. What are all the things to know? I want to become my own person. That's exactly mm -hmm. what has happened in your life. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I guess I'm going to go, because I went to Germany because I could speak the basic, you know. German. Sans, yeah, because go Namibia, mm -hmm. which I did my hotel management. Ah. Nearly a German school. So I learned Germany. So I could choose Fran France or mm -hmm. Holland or something. So make it so you know, I'd rather go to, if I have to go to any European country, I'll go to where I can hear the yeah. language. Yeah. So when I got there, I was looking after this child. So now I improve my German. But still, Germany was not where I really want to be. Mm -hmm. UK. So before that, Germany. It was because I didn't have a visa in the UK. So I tried it. I was told, like someone tried to help me. I'm tired. When you get to the embassy, don't tell them that I'm going to go to the UK. Mm. So now it was hard for me to lie. <laughs> because what I was like, <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> yeah. So when I got there, like it was so difficult for me to just say, no, I get a little. And this meant that question is one thing that I'm going to you won't, yeah. Mm. No one go to the UK who's not about our well route. So <laughs> now I told him to to his face that and, and I really want to go and I want to go for good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know what the question yeah, and that was yeah. it. So but in my visa, then I went to your nature being embassy because next my idea and I wanted to use that mind for something tangible, like yeah. kids worry. If it's UK, this is my ticket to the UK or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I went to German embassy. You only thought that I could like, or I can speak the language a little bit. So I began a visa, and then I went. So I can look. My mind was still go UK. Then one day, my friend Aban Telezan do you know what? If you have any European visa, mm -hmm. you can enter the UK. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. Because when you get you get banned for ten years. You cannot ever apply until after 10 years. Mm. So as long as you have a visa to go to Germany, you can enter the UK. Ah, that was it. So I went to Gym to UK. I moved to the visa. I had to just... <laughs> mm. So um, I stayed for a year. I got on my six months because it will be... The visiting visa is valid for six months. Unless mm -hmm. you have a So I lived there past the six months. It became my illegal. Mm -hmm. So I can now go, but I can like so well or any time back on a bum or like snap visa and deport me. But because now I wanted to really change my life, I was so desperate. Any work that I would get, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I would save us if back on that tomorrow. So <laughs> at the same time, I'll just contact my uncle, my uncle, Mr. Giso. I'm barely two rooms or something. Kizuri, kibereka la muna kung kizuri. This time back on Zakong, just to go to get out of my UK, maybe through deportation or something. Mm. So yeah, I started just doing that, saving my day and letting it go. Yeah, I had the two rooms, and then as time went, I met a friend, Avantare. Go to make me like no see like, kile lonely. I don't know. Like not for me, it was fine, but. My friend Gantar, you know, hello, did you meet? What's going on? I feel like I feel like I'm going to be a But I'm not going to avoid the whole thing or departing or anything because I'm going to be a little bit more because I'm not going to be a Yeah, they will raid places that are crowded and stuff like that. So I'm going to avoid those places. So I was always on my own because I'm not going to be a whole group of things. So I would just keep the whole thing on it. So my friend Avantar, hey, this this friend of mine, Arunali, a brother-in-law, who no longer doesn't have a girlfriend. So I thought, I thought of you, yeah. So I introduced her. Uh, even 
that introduction, I was, I, cause make it a real good taste go be still for like it lean at his go. I don't know if you know Tesco. It's like a big supermarket like choppies. Okay. Make it lean a good thing. Gabo, like it's more like a 12 until ka seven. So my friend, I went there, how much is it? Come on, seven. Meet me, go, go Crowley. Like, I'm going to go Brighton, so an hour away from Crowley. Mm. Like, near Gatwiko Airport, mm-hmm. if you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm in London. So, um, I went there, meet me tomorrow, go to go, go Crowley, and then that's what I did. And then I went to the Gabo 10, like, the guy I have to meet. Mm. So, I'm so fed up, I have to go back to work. Yeah, mm. so this is the guy that she's introducing me to. And now I'm mad what I've been waiting for hours. Mm. And this guy just come in strolling like that. So, yeah, he comes and he's talking to me. And this is a pub where we are. So this the guy and can we go speak in Gokoloying? Then I was like, okay, that's go. Let's go. He was so kind, like Ali nice. A gentle, you know, like so, you know, give you like that. I've been so rude to this hey, person. Look, I'm not getting one. Like now, recono buya no. So yeah. we started talking, ribua ribua, and na kana illegal now. Like, ham tar gele sole. I'm thinking, masole ma This is a same thing to me. So I'm, thinking, <laughs> so so I'm not. I'm, I'm even avoiding to disclose. Or haki haki nang haki nang. And he's very serious. Like you know, zim guys. Like mm. when they. Meet you, it's either it's leading to marriage or something. Yeah. So another time he's already knowing who he, if this it's a really girlfriend yeah. and then he's ready for marriage. So now I was not even ready. Nani gizore na goya kaya or ki kidi put the wega nacha anytime. So my plan was just to leave. So this is April. And then remote like Rajola for like two months, three months. Avantar no, I really want to I want us to get married. I became like, hey, now I'm gonna get so deep and be like, I don't have. So Harry, I look at him like, hey, tell me, I don't even have anything. Like, and as I'm born, I get pregnant. They can live, and I can learn to be adults. And now I'm still thinking, I'm still a child. Like, yeah. I'm still twenty, like, twenty-three, twenty-four. Mm-hmm. So I know, since I born, I learn more, learn more, learn along. And now I'm still trying to process Kanya Hori. I'll be pregnant, you know. Having kids, hey, she kids were, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I had to turn him down, like, mm. for only two, three months, a little more. And then, I'm like, hey, I'm talking to him, happen now that I don't even know you yet. Mm. So, why can't you give it time? Or, maybe, I can't talk about it, but I regret that. I married someone, no longer, to be honest, two opposite people, Harry, Harry, you know, because I'm going to let you know, you don't think there are so many things you don't take into account. Like you don't think too much of both marriage and stuff like that. Mm. You just know you're just with this person and that's it. So and this is not going anywhere. And no one on marriage. So I can't tell him that I can and I can't see this going too far. Now I just wanted someone to be with me because I was too lonely. My friend yeah. thought I was lonely. So here now I thought I'm lonely, so I'm with you for that. But I can't tell him that at the same time. So, Malaysia Zama. And then one day, my brother in law, Avantar, Avantar, kind of you just have to tell Ivan, sorry, you don't have papers. And mm. Okako Tus. So, and Okra Horna Sam Mulelit. So, and I, I may tell her when we bring her. Yeah, no, and I have, we are doing it. I'm not there yet because I'm thinking, worry. There's no future because now, Uncle Gaw will, Uncle Gamula, or I can't even mm. be. So, Hari a lebel kwa nke mra ngere okay na ke na ke na di pampira but no i can even just marry you now you know as masole we have a leeway of getting things quickly done mm. so i can marry you and your papers will be fine mm. so go ra re ke go botswa na embassy because ne ke la tle passport kana ne ke tsentse le stempe sa se le ne go re sa go dikhoneng just to get jobs so go ra re ke re gore ke la tle passport ke go botswa na embassy ba ntirela travel document for me to come here get get la go passport mm. but we are doing it at the same time 
marriage go re tle go ira go tle sengwe sengwe kwa me e le gona nung ke accept ang gore oh okay it can work yeah fine ga pe anong ke ke avoid gore go sene ke rata ha ke rata go ikaketsa mo botse long i always want things straight gore i don't want you to marry me because you are feeling sorry for me ha ke ne di pampiri maybe ka mo so tsoga o ntshe o ke ya i have to check gore do i really love you or do you really love are we compatible like regards o ga re dire le motse tomorrow So that's what one thing again so you feel like I need time this is too early let's not push it just because you are excited you just met me and you feel like now you are sorted na am I sorted with you mm. so that's why I was delaying it but now Harry okay yeah I can help you but next is kids are okay yeah know that how when it comes to marriage he's really a focused person na batla go nyala and he was ready so let now I have to put myself in that Space, yeah, yeah, make a process. So, who who you born a kilo mozzarella? Simola la, but yeah. So, the key email I'm mistake. So, this is what we are planning. Because since we're going UK, I get highly excited. Just simola send along the message. I get never receive the email that time mostly. So, as simola email, hey, I'm excited. So, at least the one of you like when I go so because it had been a while. This is happening for them. Yeah. Yeah. So. I feel already hey that would be something cuz at least the, as a father in the um, for SS village it will give me you know pride yeah or at least the being here it made a change woman absolutely yeah cuz bunse ba bone ba bana ba koso sene re me ba like ba ngwa ngwa so ba le pregnant ba ngwa drop out there and stuff like that and those are things that they used to tell me and that was before mr gitso go re he ke go ga ke go fetsa skolo ke a go ima you know mm. so ne kids and me being that strong to say this is the life i want to change ne ke ira ke dipots ne ke tlhole ke dipots gore ke batla go prove ba tlhole gore i can never be what you think i'll be yeah but like say tsol gore ke a go ira but hella i would deny this like is something that, that i is refused not my fate, yeah that's yeah, not that's me that's not my story and mm. i had to prove it mm. so and, go prove I am, it was now in god's hands absolutely yeah. you know i think you mentioned at some point where you found god we'll go back to you know just the picture yeah family and where you are now but at some point to really you found god right mm-hmm. so in all of this relationship ya go le modimo e kae you know are you able to see god's hand through this through mm. all of this you know what yeah. i mean so i just want to understand now hore in this season you know ya o sentse le ho ya no i was to eat mudimo and are you able to say this can only be god you know the mm. way my life is now you know unfolding yeah well that time nika sana ka re ka like hore hetsa school ko ko gona gona mibia Like that's where we met that girl our friend na on 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 green at Oxford Switzerland. Rena re mari direla like san like ne go bitswa SU. So ne ba tsoko dikolontse di like mahatsa ha re like bo Switzerland le so to South Africa and all that. So ne re direla di scripture union tsa rona. So le bone ba leng gore ne re utla modimo thata ka bone cause bone go Switzerland a great province ba bone they are Christians. So bone ne ba itse thata and they used to they know the new scriptures they were teaching us how to read the bible how to pray and that's how i used to learn to pray so le le har ya no resister he sa school and i would like really always go so when i'm looking for a job or i want something the kids or i have to pray next se ke tlwaela gore i have to now everything that i want it only it's only god that can change it le ha ya no ke lo go so se like ke bereka Hakitla ya nung ketla ipolo lo gore no I want to build my own path. Ne ke batla gore okay a go tswe so se ya no go tsene modimo in place so one. Cuz so se provided me with everything that I needed. Like ne ke go so se ne re sa tlo ke se ipe like we could be given pairs of shoes like every term. That time so se ne na le madi and they had sponsors. So everything you needed You would even available. I think even limudim no ka sko concentrate ta ka go itse mudimo because you know it's already go fasting all this mudijo e. But because na nere sa itse mudimo that time ne re tsela re so se re ha sengwe sengwe. But then ha ya no ke re okay. I now want God in my life. Ne ke itse gore if I have to take this path the privilege that city sala then that means ke na le mudimo. 
Mm-hmm. So like I go to Germany or go to UK, I remember flying from Germany to UK. I get next to go to Rabahu and tell like it's an because if, even if my friend said you can be allowed, can I not had a denied visa Already. stamp? Yeah. Yeah. So I was praying the whole hour, mm-hmm. yeah, that journey. Like, la barbang of Faradi, they go feeding. And mm-hmm. I thank God for negating with him that time, and I could only look unto him when I'm in a situation. Gordon was never worrying, let's amest like it. Can I let me like it so? He knew for to go to Germany, basically, I think it's going to be three months. Because Nagi Pulazo can say, I want to do this independently. To be bothering Mr. Kids. So, everything that I have to do, I had to now involve God. It was me and God now. Wow. Well, Feel it. Where are you now? I want you to give me a picture of what your life looks like because, you know, it, it's truly unbelievable how your life has transformed from mm. to, you know, you being where you are now. How long have you been married? You know, tell us about the kids. Uh, just a little bit about the kids. I just want to know how are they, you know, yeah. uh, and what are some of the commitments you made to them? Mm. Um, we've been married for, this will be our 18 year. Wow. Yeah, in marriage. So With Eva, Evans. Evans, Sibanda, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, a. Uh, and we've got my daughter is here for 17. Mm. So like after six months, really more I was pregnant with her. So kids are ten after a year and Yeah. Yeah. So she's seventeen. She's turning seventeen in July. And then my son is fifteen, not in a fifteen come much. Mm. Yeah, I only have two. So yeah, and this is because Len Hakim came with my husband. And then now it's a Bible because he was he was born and raised. He's a church rat. Like now it's in the in and out. Me longer go fast. I know these are things. I had to learn now. So it's a Yeah. So like I said, it's a long one. Go get up like kill the car, kill the car. Go fast. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm going to join. Yeah. So yeah. So right now. Yeah. This is our 18th year, and we run a healthcare business mm. and. In the UK, uh, which we started in 2018. Mm. And these are things that worry. it was through church because I could go get again, you'll be joining some things, but the talent there or what, what, what. Mm. These are things that I had to do to test the Korami Mudimunzo thing. Because how we, you can be in the church, but have you ever experienced God personally? Yeah. Where you can yeah. try things just because. I say as a church, this is what works. And mm-hmm. talent. And for me to achieve things that I did, make it participate I know people always say money and all. Money how level money is in place of what God can give you. Mm-hmm. So when you are always about money and always very stingy with it, you cannot replace, you cannot think of God. Mm. But where is it coming from? That's why people go to some extra lengths mm-hmm. where they can get money, yeah. where they go and consult mm-hmm. to get money. And that money becomes their every source. In Namudimu, yeah, but yeah. how Rapela Mudimu, because I seek ye, I get the kingdom mm-hmm. of God and everything shall be added. Mm-hmm. So, that's how I've always looked unto God. Like how Rabella Mujimutlukufa business. That's what I did. Mm. That's what I did. And I believe Hori, I don't have to even be so stingy and hold on to my money. Get like really tight because but they are in the Bible. As long as That's I'm cool. living by the principles of God, which is the Bible, the word of God, I'll have to follow what it says. Absolutely. If there's no way where it says go and consult. No. You have to find God yourself and then for you to know him. I will face him with your source. Amen. So everything that I have, the business I can learn, go get again, I get to regai, but I'm going to go and we drive big cars. And it was because of that. Wow. Like we live, like people can't even believe, mm-hmm. but it's only when you believe. Amen. Amen. So it's, that's how it is. That's that's incredible. Before we talk about your music, because we're yeah. going to wrap up the interview with yeah. your music, okay. um, let's talk about the trauma. 
because I look at you now, to where we are now, your face has just lit up and, you know, you are exuding joy and contentment and peace and love, right? What would you say it took for you to heal? You know, Lohone, would you say you can ever heal from this kind of trauma? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Because somebody else, as we speak, mm-hmm. they will watch this interview and say, if she could, so can I. Mm-hmm. But if you were to just give them hope, what does it take, you know, to reach a point where there is light at the end of the tunnel? You yeah. Know? The thing is, um, you have to understand, Hori, life and death lies in the power of the time. Mm-hmm. So now, the way I overcame all this, it was because mm. or I won't even show sure Hori it really bothers me because and I didn't I don't know where I got that strength. Mm. To be honest, I don't know. Like like I'm saying, sometimes my sister being there, it helped. Yeah. Because the other Nikki Dibalela could have maybe, like I'm saying, I could have been damaged. Like I could have been maybe going into suicidal, like yeah, mentally disturbed or having issues like that. But none of us, like today, even my brothers and sisters, the abuse that we went through, you won't even tell her they've gone through that. Oh, wow. Because in a way, I think you just have to block it out. Because the devil wins you when you really fear or you mm. believe too much into what they are saying. Mm. So, now my sister is not safe. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. Because I'm not safe. So, I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, it will have that moment, but I put it at the back of my mind. Mm. I found a way to cope because now my sister, we were into everything. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know We will be the ring leaders of whatever is going on. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I can look out. Yeah. So I think that's how we like our confidence. Because even if we don't know the law, we can pass. Because we are not going to be able to pass. Of course. Me, I've realized that high selection of my heart. Confidence among one is a barrier. And if you don't have the right to stand up, you will not be able to be yourself. It makes you come out of everybody and be your own. Mm. Like you, but now, but long or like go 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 UK. They can give you book in a lady chance, so you can answer story out of it. Mm. Even if it's a lie, but the fact that you are talking Absolutely. and you are making up a story, you are making something make sense out of something that doesn't make sense. Mm. Confidence can take you far. Absolutely. So, 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 I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it. That's it. And hey, you're going to. It didn't bother us. Yeah. I remember, like even today, I still get messages from and they used to see us as Baba Papang or something, and they we didn't even have our path crossing because or something. Mm. And they look at me and say, you know what? I admire your courage. That's it. You guys didn't care. Yeah. And they listen now. And look at where that has gotten. Because they are seeing where we are. Yeah. Something else that's really critical, and I want to know where you are with that. We were forgiveness. You know, mm-hmm. you've been violated by yeah. so many circumstances, people. Have you been able to forgive? When you meet God, mm. you meet forgiveness. You mm. learn f- to forgive. There were times when I would resent my mom. Mm. Like, how can exactly I blame her? Can I blame her for all that we suffered? Happy mm. kids, where were you? Yeah. You know? Because there were times when she's not there. Mm. And you can't even ask her that. So when I met God, I learned to forgive. Even the abuse that I went through. Mm. These people, they get a man simply. They will know me. Mm. But you are saying this as a child. Like, you haven't grown to understand why some things are happening. Like, yeah. Even how you grew, like even my mother not being there, you start to understand. Maybe even the path that God took me through, it was for me to also grow. Yeah. Even this, the abuse that I went through, it was a, some type of discipline. 
Because sometimes I could think, like, I compare myself to those bunny bats away at the halas, because they're really sorry. Bunny bats away at the halas. Where are they now? Mm. It didn't pay to anything. Mm-mm. So now I feel okay. If I came to Sose because I am, this is where maybe I could have ended. That's it. But that abuse to me, it was some type of discipline. Maybe that's how God wanted me to be disciplined for me to get it and understand what yeah. mm-hmm. it's Because even my mom, maybe that the whole path that we walked mm. for her to have. That poverty, even sometimes learning how when I got or hella below and stuff like that, it was the situation she was already in. Of course, learning and because even I can count on my brother's years. You can see it was teenage pregnancy, mm. so she had nothing. We were born into nothing. I cannot blame her. And out of that, something great came out of it because the Bible, like Renano, everything I have to absolutely the principles of the Bible. I always say, let Joseph. His own brothers had to sell him. Mm. But he ended up feeding them years later. He was the one that they could cry onto, mm. onto his shoulder for him to feed Israel. Yeah. Absolutely. So something great comes out of that. That's so it. there's no way you can blame anyone <laughs> for it. Because it, it is how God made it and it's for you to, it's for your own good. Absolutely. It's not for his name to be glorified. It's always something comes out of it you'd feel proud of. Well, amen. Amen. Let's talk about your music. You are now a musician. Uh, I want you to tell me about, you know, your music. You know, you, you, where did that love come from? And what is, the, the, what is it that we can expect from you? <laughs> right. Um, you know, like I'm saying, nah, with my sister, mm. like that, I think that's where we found comfort. Mm. So even go school, we recognized it love just because of our hotel. Mm. I remember we locally traditional dance competition, and then we were in drama competition as well, and then we same day in the competition. And because my sister and I nearly the ring leaders are single thing. Teachers were now confused because some Korean thing, our group of friends wants to go. Mm. So no one wants to go Korea see one thing. Mm. And we had to they had to talk to us or choose a colo one or a guy. Because hard talk with drumming, it's all as well as on the arts or yeah. both traditional dancing. So now my sister, we always had people around us and Rather music and will influence even Banabako village and re traditional dance, re re choir, re 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 So that's where my love of music came from, and this has been there since I was young. Like Liko mm. Primary, it followed me. But now knowing God, I started wanting to sing songs that are about God and worship. I learned in Kokere game, and I fell in love with that even praising and worshiping, praying, whatever. I just wanted to do everything that has to do with God. Let music, I had to just find, how do I write a song? And because it's a way of expressing how you feel about God. Mm-hmm. So that's where you bring out your thoughts. So even the songs I'm writing, I'm writing about God. And that's the only thing I can do. That's the only thing I can write about. How are you hoping your music will impact you know, uh, the people who encounter it or but what about are going to, you know, experience your music? You know, as a minister of the gospel, you are sending a message through your songs. Mm. So I know really writing my songs is writing what's in my heart. Yeah. And I feel people are going to relate to that and begin to and it's to mainly glorify God. Mm. And for people, we have to win souls through our music. So some people may understand the word of God through music. Some, when preaching, Absolutely. preachers will preach and they understand. Some uh, evangelists will evangelize and they get, maybe they'll get to know God. Some is through healing. So mm-hmm. some people love music. So they will hear my music through, gospel through music. Absolutely. Tell us about this one song, you know, the, your latest single. Where do people access it? Also, your name is Among Ibu Akaying, and yeah, where can people access it? Yeah, um, Ibu mm. Akaying. So, I've, I'm featuring um, a guy called Saba, Sebastian Magacha from Zimbabwe. 
So I'm singing it in English, Shona and uh, Setswana. So the guy is singing Shona because he's a Shona. So um, you can access it on YouTube, on Fifi Sibanda. YouTube, um, you can subscribe to my channel, YouTube, uh, which is Fifi Sibanda. Mm -hmm. And it's also on my page. And it's also on all music platforms. Bo Amazon, Bo... It then more and more your iTunes and Yeah, stuff. iTunes, yeah. yeah it then more. So mm -hmm. it, you can find it on more iTunes, Apple Music, more Apple stores, all of them. Yeah. All right. Uh, Fifi, thank you so much for doing this. Like, your story is truly incredibly inspirational okay. uh yeah, that's when it's truly unbelievable you know the way your life you you was in your early years yeah i can only imagine where now no more thing but look at what god has mm -hmm. done really it we see the hand of god Amen. through your life and uh, what a testimony and thank you for choosing to share this here thank on this you platform. So much. Yeah. You know, I look forward to the lives it's going to touch, the healing that it's going to ignite. And may God bless you and all your endeavors. God bless your music. God bless your business. God bless your family and your thank big, you. beautiful heart. And once again, thank you so much for sharing oh, your powerful you powerful story on Hana Life Conversations. Yeah. All the best, my sister. Thank you so much. I forgot to mention, I've I've got some Botswana that I've hired mm -hmm. from here in ah, the UK. So, yeah. That's wonderful so because... right now, home office is still very strict mm -hmm. with the outside overseas workers. So mm -hmm. maybe I'll recruit again more Botswana. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful because... Thank you. We're also right now <laughs> seeing, you know, a migration here mm -hmm. to the UK and we hear the stories that we so mm. thank you for being that big sister who's created a platform, you know. Uh, so thank Amen. you very much for that. Perhaps, Sibile, quickly, what advice would you give, you know, Batswana by either by let's whole relocate that to the UK or back with thing right now, you know, by are trying to navigate the space and you've been there for the last, you know, 20 years? Uh, what I can advise, Gore, don't go there to overstay because overstaying is something that becomes a long process for you to get back mm. into the good books. Gore, go there like I was advising my friend, but right now I can't help him. Yeah. I advise the Gore, don't overstay. Stay six months and then go back and come back. Gore, yeah. now when I, because that time was before I got my sponsorship license, mm -hmm. I said to her, I'll hire you. But you, I can't help you when only illegal. Mm. Because when you overstay, you are illegal. And that spoils your your visa, later options. Like you can't have any more options of any, doing anything about it. So about overstay. But what I'm saying, Botswana, when they go there, just overuse this six months coming in and out. You rather have your visa still being valid. You can still come into the UK and when you want. But when you overstay, there's no help that can come unless on Nako UK. And that process can take years, about 10 years. By long I think some people are already on that process. Yeah, who seek asylum. But it's a way just to get you out of that being stuck mm. there and not being able to work. Because once you are illegal, the companies right now, they have, like, we have sponsorship license. We can now hire, but long but as a company, I can't hire you. Mm. Because I tried that and I almost lost. Because you have friends, they know or you don't have papers. And these, when they see your life, because once you start making pound, your life changes. So yeah. when they see that we're now shampoo, they can call home office and they can call anonymously, which is what happened when I tried. Yeah. And they still call me to help them out of that. I can't. Because little now we have to follow. We we are being uh, inspected. They check if I hire you, Snadi Pampir. It questions my integrity as mm -hmm. a company, and That's it can it. spoil my reputation. Yeah, so yeah. I can't. So they have to just make use Do of coming right in thing. and out. Absolutely. And yeah. Thank you for for you know sharing that uh, bit of advice with them. And as we wrap up the conversation today uh once again introduce your song to us which is how we're uh, uh wrapping up our conversation and you know there you have it 
Jesu murori se mohala le se kimoti mo. Murori sing is the yeah. name of the song. That's the song. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Botswana Communications Regulatory Authority, BOCRA, advised members of the public to register their SIM cards by 30th June 2024. Unregistered SIM cards will be disconnected from the network after this date. Ensure your SIM card is registered to help maintain a secure mobile network. Visit your mobile network provider to complete your SIM card registration today. Now, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode. And don't forget to share, to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you'd also like to share your story, you can DM the Khauna Live or Khauna Live Conversations pages on Facebook or just email Live Conversations at gmail.com. Catch you on the next episode.